Hello class. In front of you, you'll see a template that I created using Excel and I'm sharing a part of my screen. Your final assignment in Excel um, that accumulates the um, chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4 is a creation of an expense budget. Um, just note that what we're doing with our discussion topics is creating not, a, not an expense budget but more a more specific type of budget like cash, cash budget or um, some other detailed budgets but there are so many different budgets that you can create this is your project which you will be graded um, I'm going to create a portion of it just so to give you an idea of what I'm looking for and what process you'll go through um, you can use the template you can use um, a format it um, using your own creative imagination but this definitely helps you as a student um, create the template without having to deal with all of the uh, the formatting issues. So I created this budget with it using the template which we have I think a discussion topic going over how to create a budget using the templates in Microsoft Excel. So that being said you should see a document that looks somewhat like this in the classroom which has numbers plugged in already which I'm going to do right now. What I'm doing clearly right now is just filling in the information on the actual data for these um, very specific accounts. These are all expense accounts. One is the personnel, which include office people, office staff, store, and salespeople, and others. Then at the other end, I'm, I'm entering the actual expenses. And this is annual number, of course, for various categories, including bad debt, advertising, etc. Now you can see here we have an actual 635,000 which probably will be exactly the same as what you'll see in the, your classroom. Um, we have completed the, the actual column. Now what this spreadsheet is going to be doing is going to be it's going to be two things. And you could create a new spreadsheet to create your chart. It depends on your skill level. I just want you to be able to create a budget based on some parameters that I've given. First of all, given this actual information, I'm going to make up this company. I'm going to call it um, Deborah Roberts company. I'm going to give a fictitious date and I'm going to say July of 2014. And again, follow the instructions in the tab in your book um, in your, your classroom to do this. But I'm just making up numbers. Now the next step is we want to be able to calculate based on what we know um, is year-end information. This is going to be through June of the, of the, the fiscal year. So now we're in a new fiscal year. We want to estimate what our budget is going to be. Now, budgets generally have some type of assumption. So, what we want to do is assume certain things. Create a monthly budget or a budget using the annual information above. Do not create a new worksheet. Extend the information from another tab. Now, again, I'm flexible with that because um, it might be a little bit more difficult for you to um, create um, the charts that I'm looking for. And if that causes you some difficulty, you can give me more than one spreadsheet. But it would be certainly more efficient if you create your budget and created your worksheets all in the same file. But I'm not going to take off if you choose to do them separately. At the end of the day, we want to just create some information. So here we are. We've got our budget and we're going to assume, I'm going to assume that um, the expenses are going to go up by the annual uh, inflation rate, which at this point is 4%. So I'm going to assume that we're going to go up um, in all of our costs by 4%. So I'm going to calculate an increase of 104 percent to give me a new number and the system if you use the template it'll automatically calculate but if not we can always you can always you know calculate what the difference is in terms of prior year or the annual the, the actual versus the budget and I'm going to do this all the way down you can also create these absolute values if you want to make certain that these numbers come up to be correct. And I think they'll be fine the way they are. Now, once we've done that, we already know now what our new annual budget is. So, 
within, within a new spreadsheet or a new tab within the existing worksheet, you can create a monthly calculation. So I'm going to move my tab down just a little bit. And I'm going to create a new tab. So I'm going to say I want to create a new worksheet. So I'm going to insert and again we just want to okay. I'm going to use a new table for this particular one uh, let's see I'm going to insert let's see just one second so with the information I've provided so far, I've only put in information for the personnel, which is only um, a small portion of the spreadsheet. But I'm going to take that information and I'm going to create another tab in Sheet 2. You can name this sheet if you like. And I'm going to have a monthly budget. So expense budget by month. So if we finish our fiscal year ending in June of 2014, we're going to start with July. So the category is going to go here, and then the month is going to go here. So in this case, we all say July, August, September, October, November, December, and so forth. We will end, obviously, at the end of June. So I'm going to continue. And then our final month is June. And for this particular one, I'm going to make certain that it's very clear as to what I'm doing. So I'm going to be so the fiscal year ended June 30th, 2015, because we're basically 2014. So, the, and the formula formulating this this budget is not so hard because what you could do is copy the information from one spreadsheet to one tab to the other. So what I'm going to do is that. I'm going to use my key here and I'm going to copy the category and that's what I did now we can you can make your spreadsheet um, have the same subtotals as the spreadsheet that we're picking up the information for example in the expense budget which we will calculate first the annual numbers for each one of the categories given our interest or our, our inflation rate or we can make the um, budget look a little different. I'm not really um, concerned about how your presentation looks because I think you should use your own creative abilities uh, but what I am looking for is for you to be able to prepare a budget, understand what the budget is saying to you and create charts that you can communicate to a party to make business decisions. So. So the mechanics of it is I'm more concerned about the mechanics and I'm also concerned about whether or not you understand what you've done and can communicate that in your um, charts. So using your Excel skills, you'll do that. What I've done here is just copied over using my spreadsheet um, skills. And now I know that my calculation is going to be one twelfth of that annual amount. So I'm going to put that number in and using my score here or I'm going to say I'm going to divide this number by 12 and that's what I got here and you follow that through all the way across again it, it's a good idea to anchor this or use absolute value so that you don't have to recopy and change the formulas as you move over because it's going to just make sure that all your cells are copied over correctly and you'll do the same thing over and over and over again but given this we want to anchor this so because we want to make sure that the number is exactly the same so I'm going to put a dollar sign in front just make sure we get this so Let's copy this again. So copy from here to here. And let's look at our make sure our numbers are anchored really good. So again, what we want to do is just copy over our 
our, our um, totals, but we want to make certain that we're using the same number every single time. So I'm going to put the dollar sign in front of the C as well. I want to anchor that down. Now let's see. Copy this over. Very good. Now, and you don't have to do this, but it does make things so much easier when you're actually doing your copy and paste. I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. The next category, um, office. I'm going to use store at this point. And I'm going to copy over salespeople. And then the next step is I want to dig this cell here and I'm going to take it and divide it by 12. But before I hit enter, I want to make certain that the numbers stay anchored. So I'm going to put a dollar sign right before the C and right before the 5. Because it makes it so much easier. Now, I'm going to then take, make sure my numbers look right. Let's go back and take a look at that. 20,800. That makes a little bit more sense. Chess, text, you know, always check for reasonableness. Now I'm going to copy it over and make certain it does work. Good. The number stays the same. Um, and you don't have to do this, but it certainly makes things easier because now I can copy it all the way over and, and see no changes in my numbers because it's all looking at the same cell all the way through. And that is what you'll do for each one of the categories. And then you will give me a total. Again, presentation-wise, make your spreadsheet your own. The mechanics of it is important, um, but the formatting of it is totally your call, meaning you make it look as pretty as you like. You format things the way you think it should look and how it would be presented nicely to someone who is not an accountant and who, who really needs to understand the information more so than you understand it. So they have to have a presentation that's different. You may want to use um, formatting to, to wrap the text so that things will show up on one page. All those little details that you've learned over the course of the past eight weeks, you just utilize those skills to make your worksheet yours and make it look absolutely gorgeous and at the end of that once you've already calculated all of the budget amounts in the annual basis on this spreadsheet here then you've actually taken those spreadsheet items um, those calculate items and you divide it by 12 months and then you complete your um, expense budget by month the next step would then be to create a worksheet type of chart and again, I want you to tell me what kind of chart you want. And you could be, it could be a bar chart, it could be a stack chart. But all I want really is the categories, which means I want the personnel and the operating categories shown on this spreadsheet. And I want the total to be shown. I don't necessarily want to see the expenses line by line, but I want the chart to show me the budget's actual versus budget for the categories. In this case, we have three categories. One is personnel, one is operating, and one is the total. So you'll give me three categories for that. And again, we're looking at actual versus budget, so you'll probably want to include the difference column or the difference in percent. In fact, show me both um, and let me take a look at it, but I think even if you're showing this to someone else who's not understanding what's going on, the more information you can show them in a more summarized way, the better off your spreadsheet will be. So the detail is going to be all of this information and then the next one is going to be the monthly detail. But then your graph, which will be the, which would probably be the next tab that you'll create within this workbook, will be showing me the budget only in category form, showing me the actual versus the budget. So they can visually see the changes in the budget by category. Um, this is the end of my very brief tutorial on what I'm expecting for this particular assignment. If you have any questions, you can obviously to ask them in the Q&A section. This assignment is not due until the end of the class, which I believe is on the 8th of August. But you can continue to work on it as you speak now, or you can wait until later. But it's up to you. Any questions that you have, you can always put them in the Q&A, and I'll answer them for everyone else. The best thing you can do in this case is to use one worksheet to create your entire file. But I am not opposed to you using more than one worksheet if it makes it easier for the charge to make sense or to come out correctly. Again, this is a, a little spreadsheet of what I would do if I'm creating a budget from using a template. You can also use a, um, your own spreadsheet using the same categories if you like.